Hi everyone, do you guys like coloured pencils? Because I never used to and then I got a ton of them. I got them from scroller boxes, for presents, I even found some I've had for years just laying around in old pencil cases. So I thought today I'll have a look at every single set of coloured pencils I own and we'll do a little bit of a coloured pencil showdown. Okay, so these are all my pencils. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sets of pencils. Some of them are complete and some of them are not complete. Um, and then some of them I've had for years. Like these ones here are the Derwent watercolor pencils. I've had these since I was like 18. And then these ones here are actually graphite. So I don't know if technically they're a color pencil, but they are colored and a pencil. So for the sketchbook, I'm not using anything fancy. Um, this is a sketchbook from Ryman, which is a stationery store in the UK, and it uses quite crappy paper. It's quite thin. Um, it's quite nice to sketch on though, and it was only six pounds, so a bit of a bargain. So I'm going to be looking at some categories, just loosely. Um, texture, color choice, erasability, sharpenerability, comfort, and last one is price. And then I've got a little chart here. I'm going to be marking them out of five each. It's not really a review, it's just a bit of fun. And I spelt sharpen wrong there, so don't look at that. Okay, so first up we have the um, Derwent watercolour pencils. I've had these probably since I was like maybe 15 or 16. I got them in high school and they've travelled the world with me. I've taken them everywhere I went, even though I don't really use colour pencils much, I just don't want to get rid of them because sentiment. So these set of pencils are definitely the oldest I own and they're a bit battered and bruised. All the bright colours are gone because I must have really enjoyed bright colours when I was younger. But um, I was really happy to find them again and use them. I haven't used them since I started this whole like relearning art journey again. So it was it was kind of like getting back to, to my roots. So they sharpened really nicely. They have a lovely texture. They're really smooth and creamy. And I think Derwent pencils are known for their quality, or I know them for their quality anyway. Um, I remember when I got these when I was like maybe 16 or 17, and I thought I'd hit like the lottery, like the pencil lottery, because I just thought I was definitely a real artist now that I had all these awesome pencils. I looked them up online, and in the UK you can get a set of 72, which is the most pencils they sell in a set, for £124. So they are quite expensive. But I would definitely recommend them because this was the first picture I drew for this challenge thing. But um, it was definitely my favourite. I think these pencils, I'm definitely going to have to use them again. I don't have much variety of colours left anymore. But obviously with 72 colours you're going to get a lot of variety. But I really love the muted tones and stuff that I have now because it's just browns and blues and greens left. So yeah, this is the first little picture I did. Just a little portrait to warm up. Trying out a new style. I kind of like it actually. I think it's pretty fun. So I give these guys five out of five. Okay, so next we have more Derwent pencils, Derwent Studio. These aren't watercolor um, and they aren't actually mine. I stole them from my boyfriend, but he doesn't draw anymore. So I figured I would use them and just test them out. So I found that these pencils had exactly the same quality as the watercolour pencils. Obviously I had a lot more variety of colour because uh, I still, ha still had all the bright colours like the reds and the yellows. Um, I think the only difference between the two is that one is watercolour and one isn't. And online they actually are exactly the same price so it depends on what you like. You can have either which is pretty cool. Um, they sharpen really nicely. They have really lovely texture. I'm not much of a blender as you'll see, I kind of like, sometimes I layer stuff but I don't really blend, it's not really my style, but I'm sure they would blend lovely. Um, as for the picture, I'm not really into this face I drew, it's a bit weird and I'm not really into the colours, but the pencils can't complain there. I would prefer the watercolour pencils though, so I give these guys a 4 out of 5. So next are these Crayola Twistables. I didn't even know whether to include these because I literally have three colours. Um, and I don't, I think they're pencils. They're by Crayola, but I'm pretty sure it's pencil lead, not crayon. And then let's get a bit crazy with some highlighter pencils. 
these are from Koei Noor. So first the Crayola pencils, um, turns out you don't need to sharpen them, which is good and bad. Good because you don't need to sharpen them, so your wrists get a break, but bad because you can never seem to really get a nice sharp point. And then these highlighter pencils were a breeze to sharpen. They have kind of like a chalky texture, which I think helps. So because I only had a few colours of each, I mixed them together and I drew an orangutan because the day I drew this was International Orangutan Day. I've never drawn an orangutan before and it's quite difficult. Um, so the pencils. So the Crayola pencils, they're super cheap. They're like £5 for 12. Uh, they're very waxy, so they're not very good for layering, but they are quite nice to draw with until they get really blunt and then it's a little bit of a pain. And then the highlighter pencils, I think are really nice for detail work and maybe just highlighting something, but I definitely wouldn't draw an entire drawing with these things because they are so bright, they will burn your retinas out. Um, you can actually get a lot more colours online though, you can get six colours of the highlighter sets for £5 as well, so two little cheapies there. I didn't really have the best experience with these though, they don't erase very well and there's not many colours to choose from. So I gave these guys a 2 out of 5. Um, there will be some naked ladies coming up, so if you don't want to see that, skip ahead. So the things I've been using these pencils for recently are doing really quick warm-ups. So this was the next day, so I decided to do a few pages of a life drawing from the Crokey Cafe, which is a YouTube channel. And I love these pencils because they have different tints, so it's not as boring as using a regular pencil, but it has that really nice texture and softness of a regular traditional pencil. So they do smudge a bit because they're graphite. So if you're into like smudging or making lots of different textures and stuff, these guys would be good. If not, you could use a fixative. I don't use a fixative because I can't be bothered. So I just let my pages smudge together really. So they are on the medium pricey side, I guess. You can get a set of 24 for 41 pounds here in the UK, which I think is a pretty good deal actually, because you get a few different colors. Um, I definitely would recommend these and I give them a 4 out of 5. So again I got these in a scroller box. The reason why I have so many coloured pencils is because scroller box went through a phase where I was just sending pencils every month. These ones are Spectrum Nor, yeah, Spectrum Nor Colorista. So these pencils, I love them and I hate them. Um, I actually, after I filmed the little intro, I used them for maybe two or three days afterwards. And I love the colour range in them. They're so nice for doing like really simple stylized pictures, which I did for a couple of days. The only problem is with these pencils is I cannot get them to stay unbroken to save my life. I must have sharpened them about 11 times each um, just to get a point to come up. And I just gave up in the end. I read a lot of reviews online that these guys um, get broken quite a lot and someone mentioned to me in an Instagram comment that if you heat them up with a hairdryer or leave them on the windowsill and soften the lead they may not break when you sharpen so you could try that but you can get them in lots of different sets so I think there's like three or four different sets online so there's lots of different colors to choose from and um, they're lovely lovely texture that's what I love the most about them and they're pretty cheap so I gave these guys 3 out of 5 just because of the sharpening. Apart from that, they're awesome. Next we have Stadler, um, also a scroller box box that I got, a scroller box box of pencils. These ones I haven't used them much either. So I'm drawing another house with these pencils. This was actually the first time I ever used them apart from doing a scroller box challenge and they're lovely to sharpen but like that's about it um i was also super surprised i looked these up online and for 12 they are two pounds 25 so they are the cheapest pencils you can get and after using them um i can see why i know that a lot of people say it doesn't matter how expensive or cheap your art supplies are and 
is true. I could still draw with them. You can still do stuff with them. But I think if something doesn't feel right, that you don't get the best experience with them. So these guys, they have like a really weird waxy coating on the outside of the pencil. So when you hold them, it feels a little bit strange. I don't quite know what the coating is, but it was weird. And then also the lead feels super hard and not vibrant at all. So you have to kind of really push a lot to get a lot of color. And it kind of goes through the page. So it makes marks on the other side of the page because the lead's so hard. So overall, I didn't really like these pencils. The colour, the texture, and just holding them felt a bit weird. So I think I gave these guys a 2 out of 5. Faber Castell Goldfaber Aqua. And these pencils are actually the pencils that changed my mind because I hated them when I started drawing with them. They were watercolour and I really couldn't get a hang of it. And I did the scroller box challenge and I really didn't like it. But afterwards I just started using them. These guys made me enjoy coloured pencils again. So you can probably tell from my description of these pencils that I like them a lot. And I do. I have a bit of a soft spot for them I think. I never use them for watercolour because I don't like watercolour pencils. I don't like the texture of them at all. But something about watercolour pencils, I think maybe they have a softer texture. Um, that's what I've just found from these ones and also the Derwent ones. I'm not sure if that's true. If anyone knows, let me know. But these are definitely by far my favourite. They have great uh, colour range and the texture is like amazing. It's silky smooth. Is it silky smooth or is it rough and tumble, rough and tumble? I'm not sure. But it's good, whatever it is. So I decided to go back to drawing a face for this one because I got a little bit sick of drawing houses. And I love this, how this face turned out, if I say so myself. So these pencils sharpen really nicely. They erase pretty well. And the price is not too bad. You can get 12, a set of 12 for 13 pounds in the UK. It's kind of fun experiment with the different colour pencils and finding new techniques and styles. I mean, look at that crazy eyeshadow. No word. So these are my favourite pencils. I love them and I give them a 5 out of 5. I've lost the box, but we have the very famous Prismacolor Colorase erasable colored pencils. I got these for my birthday and I've drawn with these quite a bit since I got them, about a month, two months ago now. I'm gonna be a little bit controversial here and say that I don't think these Prismacolor pencils are actually that amazing. I mean, everyone speaks about them online and goes on and on about how much they love them, but I was a little bit disappointed with them, to be honest. The first thing is that when you sharpen them, they're really brittle and it kind of feels like you're sharpening a twig rather than a pencil. So it's a little bit uncomfortable in that aspect. And then another thing is that for erasable pencils, I don't think they do the best job at erasing. But apart from those two things, I guess these pencils are okay. I decided to draw some little birds with these and I really like this one I'm drawing now. I think the colors in this are really lovely. But the rest of the colours of the Prismacolor colour eras color erasable colour pencils, um, they're kind of like hit and miss really. You have a couple of browns, a yellow, and all the pencil leads are quite hard I found. Maybe that's to do with the special colour erasing ability of them, I'm not sure. But all in all, I'm not really like totally digging these pencils. I do know that they're nice when you're using them with Copics and stuff because they tend to dissolve. But on their own, I don't really think they give you that nice of an experience. But sketching things to draw over with, I can totally see why I'd want to use these. It was really fun drawing these little birds. I like doing all those little like lines for the feathers. It's time consuming, but it makes a nice little texture, I think. So yeah, I haven't been very nice to these pencils. I'm sorry if I've hurt anyone's feelings. Overall, I give these pencils a 3 out of 5. 
I got these in a scroller box a couple of months ago, I can't remember. Um, I actually recorded a video, a scroller box video, but I didn't post it because I really didn't like it. But I did really like these pencils. And they're meant to be used to blend, but I don't blend because I'm not a blender. <laughs> so the first thing you'll notice about these chameleon pencils is they are dual coloured, which I guess is the whole like sh shtick of them. And I love these pencils so much. They are super awesome in the fact that they're kind of pastel-y, which you never really see in colour pencils, or I haven't seen in colour pencils. And the fact that you get like two different colours on each pencil is both good and bad. Bad because you run out a lot easily, er, easier, and good because you get more variety. So you can actually get a set of 25 pencils for £40 in the UK, which gives you 50 colours. So really, that's less than a pound each colour, which is pretty cool. I guess the whole reason they were brought about was to blend. I'm not, as I said before, I don't really blend, but I really like using these to sketch. So because they're like thicker than a regular pencil, they're really nice to hold. Your hand doesn't cramp up as much. They are a bit awkward to sharpen, but they do fit into a regular sharpener, so that's good. And overall, the texture and everything was really lovely. So I give these pencils a four out of five. Good job, Chameleon. And that was the pencil showdown. So I had a couple of favorites in there. The Chameleons I really love, and the Fab Faber Castells and the Derwent watercolours are by far my favourites. The rest I'll use here and there, I guess, for a little bits and pieces. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this and that I haven't spoken too much. I had a lot to fit in, so I had to speak really fast. Let me know what pencils you guys like. Thanks for watching. Bye.